Hey everyone, welcome to another comic book review at Comic Book Corner, and this is your host, Spider Slayer. Um, today we're basically going to do a, another comic book review, and it is going to be about Avenging Spider-Man, issue number four. That is right, and basically this issue is Spider-Man teaming up with Hawkeye, and... can't say too much about it. I'm not too happy. To me, this book has been average. It's um, basically a team-up book, and it's like, it seems like Spider-Man is teaming up with everyone from the Avengers. That's my take from it, um, as of right now. There's no real in-depth story. Um, the last one was about Hulk, um, you know, teaming up with the Red Hulk this time around he's teaming up with Hawkeye and um, this review will definitely help you guys decide if you want to buy Avenging Spider-Man or not um, this is why I do this um, I haven't really done a review on Avenging Spider-Man now that I'm doing a featured review on this one if you're on the fence about it hopefully this will get you on or off the fence if you want it or you don't want it that's why I do this little walkthrough of some of my comics so you guys can make a decision on what you want to buy. So with that being said, let's get started. Um, Avenging Spider-Man, issue number four. Um, this one is written by Zeb Wells, um, and the artist here is by Greg Land. Um, so far, all four issues, it's been a team-up. I don't mind team up books, but when you have a whole series based off of team ups, it doesn't make for the greatest stories, um, at least in depth stories. If you're looking for one issue stories, that's fine. One issue stories for two ninety nine is okay. Three ninety nine for not that much story, and it's gonna end. I don't know. I don't. You know. Depends how much money you got, I guess. What can I say? But Avenging Spider-Man issue 4 is just basically about Hawkeye sitting on a bench saying how wonderful he is and how he doesn't miss. And, um, you know, and he's given up his life with Mockingbird because he wants perfection. I mean, and he wanted to be with the big boys. So, basically... You know, we see him, Hawkeye, and Spider-Man just going around, flying around town with his flying motorcycle. And, you know, and they're fighting these guys in these snake suits. I forgot what they are. They're like the serpent people. And Hawkeye's just shooting them all down with the arrows here. And takes them out. And, you know, there's really not that much in this book. <clears throat> I mean, they're just chasing down this one serpent guy, and he's basically sitting here training half the issue, Hawkeye is, and he's just like, come on, you know, what's the story? Can't you just rest for five minutes? And he's like, I can't rest. I'm always training. It's like, I'm the best. I gotta be the best. I can't miss. Next thing we see is, uh, you know, we see... The main man here has some kind of grenade launcher, and he's going to shoot him up. Meanwhile, all the serpent people are coming on. He's going to deliver the gas throughout the city. He's getting ready to crank his gun. Chuck, chuck. Spider-Man's coming. And he, uh, Hawkeye asks him to cover while he takes a shot at him, even though he's 400 yards away. And Spider-Man bails on him. Spider-Man's going after him. Hawkeye shoots the arrow. 
Spider-Man swinging with him. Next thing we see is what does how it happens. Oh my God, I thought Hawkeye doesn't miss, but you know what? Hawkeye misses. Hits the ground. He's like, oh, foolish hero. Next thing we see is Spider-Man's right in the face. Meanwhile, Hawkeye's like, did I get him? Did I get him? Hawkeye's coming on over, and Spider-Man's thinking about it. And he's like, you know what? I can't take the credit. I'm going to stick the arrow. Make him feel good about himself because, you know what? That's me. I'm Spider-Man. I think about others. Which is a nice little, you know, I guess gesture because that's how Peter is. He always puts everyone else in front of him. And that defines Spider-Man. That, that was what was good about the story. And Hawkeye's like, yeah, I got him. I nailed him. And he goes, sorry, pal, too slow. He goes, why are you Avenger again? He goes, now we know why. We put Cap and I together. <laughs> so, um, and that's basically, honestly, that was the end of the issue. This had absolutely very little storyline. There wasn't even major villains in this. Just like the last, you know, first three issues, and it went on for three issues. This one just ended in one issue. And then now in the next one is um, we have Avenging Spider-Man issue number five and Captain America is in it. So now next Cap and Spidey team up together. So as you can see, I didn't read you too much story in this because there wasn't really that much story. He basically teams up with Hawkeye. Hawkeye tells him how perfect he is and how he must train all the time because he wanted to hang with the big boys. They defeats the serpent guy with the grenade launcher with one arrow. Game over. Book over. Three ninety nine. Not worth three ninety nine. Two ninety nine maybe. But I don't know. I'm not such a fan. I might give this a couple more issues just because I'm a real Spider Man fan and see what happens with this. Um, honestly, my rating on this book is. Uh, seriously like a 2.5 maybe 3 out of 5 I just don't enjoy books that have like really no meaning whatsoever and for a new series like this for an issue 4 there should be much more going on I mean I just did a review on Batman and that's on issue 6 and the story is just tremendous you know um, Scarlet Spider the issue is on number two and I already got so much more out of that and that's a two ninety nine book. So for my point saying my point being is that you gotta get for what you know the money that you pay for these books, you better hope you get what you pay for. And I'm not getting what I'm paying for out of this. So if I don't get something out of it in the next couple issues or so, um, then I'm definitely <clears throat> gonna drop it because there's a lot of X-Men titles coming out and Avengers titles coming out with all this X-Men Avenger crossover stuff and you know for $3.99 I'll get more of that story than some meaningless pointless stories unless this somehow crosses into it too who knows but we'll see so that's it for me guys um, I hope this helps you make a decision on Avenging Spider-Man or not and until the next comic book review this is Spider-Slayer signing off Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.